Welcome back to In Focus. Africa's longest running civil war ended with a peace deal in 2005. Now, the Sudan People's Liberation Army is promising to demobilize all child soldiers by the end of the year. VOA's Caroline Turner has that story. The Sudan People's Liberation Army is promising to demobilize and release all child soldiers by November as part of an early agreement with the UN. An estimated 900 children are still believed to be associated with the SPLA. William Deng, chairperson of the Southern Sudan Disarmament Demobilization and Reintegration Commission, says freed child soldiers would have to be carefully reintegrated. We'll make sure that by the end of this year, the, child, the SPLA is free of child soldiers. We'll make sure that also, we are working on the program to make sure that the, the child soldier is reintegrated properly. South Sudan is scheduled to hold a referendum on succession in January. Most analysts believe they will opt for independence. Renegade attacks and tribal clashes are raising fears of a renewed conflict. But SPLA Chief of Staff James Hoth says there is no need for child soldiers because the country is not at war. We are very keen and we are very serious democratizing our children in our future and we have to give them education. We don't want to use them again in war since there is no war. For more than two decades, southern Sudan battled against the north. It is estimated that nearly two million people were killed in the conflict and over four million were left homeless. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.